We're now going to answer these questions before us. Let's have a go. So here we have solved the following five raised to the 2x minus one equals seven. Okay, what can we do here? There are different ways we could approach this. You might think to yourself, well, what if I just rewrote it as a log? Well, if I rewrote it as a log, what would I get? Well, I would say 2x minus one is going to be equal to log of base five of seven. And then we could rearrange it. And if we rearranged it, we'll get 2x is equal to log of base five of seven plus one. And then the last thing we would do is we would divide both sides by two. So we're gonna get log of base five of seven plus one over two. And that would be our answer there. If we wanted to get an approximate answer for this, so an approximate instead of an exact, we could just type this straight into our CASs. So we'd go control divide control log five seven plus one on two, then hit control enter and we're going to get 1.10 for such on. So I could write this as 1.10. What's an alternative way we could have answered this question? Well, what if we decided to take the log of both sides? So what if I instead took the log of both sides and let's take the log of five. So take log of five of both sides. So this is an alternative way of doing it. So we're doing we're getting this gonna get the same answer, hopefully, um, which is a different way of doing it. So this time I'm gonna say, all right, log of base five of five, two X minus one, close brackets, is equal to log of base five of seven. Then once I'm here, this two X minus one can go to the front because remember that's one of my uh, log laws that I can take the power of the argument and take it to the front. So that means I'm gonna get two uh, X minus one log five of five. Now you can probably see why I chose to take the log with a base of five. And the reason why is because now five, log five of five is just one. So that leaves me with just two X minus one here. Because would you agree that five raised to the one is just five? So this whole thing just goes to one, which means I'm just left with two X minus one there. And now I've got log five to the seven. And then once I'm here, I do a bit of rearranging. So I'm going to end up with what? I'm going to end up with uh, two X is equal to log to the five of seven plus one, and then I'll divide all of it by two. And once I've done that, hopefully you can see that I'm going to end up with the same answer I got up there. This is the same as this. And of course, there would be different versions of this. There would be like different uh, ways of writing this if you didn't take the log of base five, but another number. Let's also talk about what would happen if we solve this straight with our CAS. So menu three, one to get this up. And then what is the question itself? It is five raised to two X minus one is equal to seven comma X. And if I hit enter, I'm going to get this. Now this is what's happened when they've taken the natural log of both sides. They're getting this answer out. So this is still correct. But what this is saying is what happens when you get the, take the natural log of both sides. And we spoke about that in detail in the previous part. Make sure you watch that. Uh, so that just goes to show that there are multiple different ways of saying the same answer, just depending upon the log base uh, when you're taking the log of both sides. Hopefully all of that has made sense. We'll pause here and then I'll go through this one in the next video.